Hey everyone, this is Helen. If you click to this video, you probably have the same experience or this is your worst nightmare. You have fears that you may be able to experience in your journey as a self-published author on Amazon KDP platform. In this video, I will share with you what happened to me and I will give you some tips on how to handle the situations. Uh, God forbid it happened to you. Uh, I'm recording this while my kids are taking their afternoon nap. It won't be long. The email was sent yesterday, but because I haven't checked my emails, I did not see it. Today I had a book idea and I wanted to check my account. And when I clicked to sign in, I see this message. I was shocked and I feel it in my body, the reaction and the emotion that I have. I was shivering i don't know what to do i was so overwhelmed by the situation and i immediately went to my inbox and i found the email that tells me that my account is suspended due to due to a book that i published in december 10 2021 it's almost a, past a year ago and this book is it is a reading log and I have created the interior myself and as you can see I don't think there is a copyright infringement on the cover and I don't know why uh, they said this is a problem uh, and I don't know how I violate the Amazon's guideline but my suspect is I remember putting a quote on the description about reading from quoting Jim Rohn and this is the quote and maybe this might offend some people on Amazon and they might report on the book I don't know maybe English is not my first language so I might overstep in some way on my wording and I offend some people if it is uh, offensive term you can tell me in the comment below so I don't know what to do anyhow I responded to the email because it gives me 10 days to respond and tell them that it happened on a mistake or something so I just responded like this and so I might make uh, some guideline and missed some guideline unknowingly not intentionally so i'm waiting for the response and in the meantime i want you to pray for me everything to go well uh, i don't know what their outcome is from these situations uh, but i would like to take this situation so that i can give you some valuable insight that i had after calming myself and I wanted to tell you this I want you to learn these five things from the, my experience the first is be aware of the guidelines I cannot emphasize enough on this you need to be aware of the guidelines it is important truly read understand the guidelines of any platform you use to publish because it changes every time so you need to update yourself. This will help you avoid violating their policies unknowingly. The second point that I want you to learn from my experience is take action when needed. If you need to check your inbox or so you need to check this is if it is your business. Amazon is my priority. Uh, among all my online activity because it has a huge uh, traffic and anyone can make on Amazon KDP if you are working very hard and I work very hard for a couple two years on my books I have published so many books I take all the time away from my kids I work very hard but uh, sometimes things happen so you need to always watch what is happening if i didn't see this for 10 days or 11 days after it passed the deadline it will consequently might have different outcome 
I don't know what the outcome is going to be next, but it is important always to check your account and work on your business. Um, and swift action may prevent further consequence for violating guidelines. The third point that I want you to learn from this experience is understand you may not have, you may not have control over other actions. If, you, if your account gets suspended due to someone else's action or complaints, it is essential to remember that uh, you cannot always control what others do, but you can take necessary action to prevent such incidents in the future. Uh, number four that you want to learn from this experience is have a backups. It's a good uh, thing to have a backup plan and strategies for situations like this, such as creating a backup account on another platforms or diversifying your income streams. Uh, I am a Christian and I follow biblical principles for my life and overall activities. Uh, in fact, the Bible tells us to diversify streams of income. In Ecclesiastes 11 verse 2, it says, Give a portion to seven or eight. You know not what disaster may happen on earth. Uh, according to the ESV study Bible, uh, translated as such, rather than speculating such uncertainty in its uh, financial more prudent to explore multiple avenues for making one's living, investing and resource, which could involve giving a portion to several different areas because such diversification gives protection against unforeseen disasters in one or two of the areas. So diversifying your activities and uh, income streams are vital even from a biblical perspective. The last point that I want you to take from this situation is stay positive and professional. In difficult circumstances like this, it is easy to feel frustrated or upset because I know how many times that I work on this account and I stayed long nights and wake early and work in between taking away time from my kids even but we cannot do anything about that but try to stay positive and professional while handling the situation this may increase your chances of resolving the issues quickly and successfully i hope these lessons help you in times of hardship i hope i will post in the community post that the result of this situation in the meantime i would like you to hit the like button so that other people can learn from this experience because the youtube algorithm will push it when you interact with this video and if you have similar experience you can share your experience on the comment section so that others can learn from our uh, mistakes our experience this is after all youtube is uh, designed for such uh, things so let's help each other and encourage one another thank you for watching until next time bye bye for now